Okay, this is the Windsor Police Detention Facility. Um, this particular cell you're looking at is called a dry cell. It's one of the many different types of cell uh, enclosures we have in this facility. Uh, this particular cell does not have any uh, running water, a toilet, or a sink, and that is so that uh, when we require information that may suggest that somebody who is coming into our custody has uh, ingested some uh, product or evidence or contraband, which is not unusual in this business, we uh, put them in this cell and we hold them there until uh, we have the opportunity to recover any evidence that they may have ingested. Uh, most of the time, when we're dealing with this type of evidence, it's usually contraband uh, such as narcotics, where persons may ingest uh, narco narcotics into some type of a container, ingest it to uh, transport it, to smuggle it. When we take those persons into custody and we come, we believe that that information may be uh, relevant to that individual suspect, they go to a dry cell here. Um, they're held in a cell for usually just hours and um, we wait until the body decides to do its nat run its natural course and when somebody needs to uh, use the cell and have a uh, bowel movement, we provide them a container to do so and uh, unfortunately or fortunately, we then have to go through that looking for the evidence. Um, it is a side of policing that many people don't consider, very unglamorous, but we do spend a great deal of our time in, in many, many investigations in dumpsters and garbage cans and unpleasant areas trying to acquire different evidence, and the cell block is just one of those unpleasant areas that sometimes this has to happen.